Justice League opens with a shot of Superman's terrible CGI mustache removal because Henry Cavill couldn't shave in certain scenes. The end result makes it seem as though scenes with Superman were shot on location in the Uncanny Valley, which serves as a pretty good analogy for the film itself. It's something that resembles the Justice League, sure, but it's not quite right. That's my review. 10 out of 5. But let me level with you guys. Justice League broke me. And not just because I saw it in IMAX and my ears are bleeding. Here's the thing, if you guys have been around this channel in the past, you know that I don't really do reviews. Instead, I like to take these big tentpole events like the Justice League movie, or Thor Ragnarok, or the Punisher TV show, and use these moments in time when the characters are culturally relevant to teach you about something. Like that really annoying teacher you might have had in middle school who tries to use pop culture to help you understand physics or history or wait, wait, actually, yeah, that, that pretty much sums up this entire channel. We read between the panels and grow smarter through comics. I understand why you're unsubscribing. But here's the thing, okay? There have been so many comic book movies and TV shows out just this year that it has been impossible to keep up with all of them and use all of these tentpole moments in time as opportunities for me to make videos for you. I have anxiety. A lot of you guys know this. So when there's another big comic book movie coming up, I think to myself, ooh, that's a good opportunity to, to, to talk about this one thing that I always wanted to talk about. And then what happens? Usually, I miss the opportunity completely. I don't release a video until after the movie or TV show is out, if I do it at all. And by the time I've written and researched something about Thor Ragnarok, Justice League is out. Now I have to focus my attention on that. Sorry, Thor. You were great. I even made a thumbnail. Just look at those arrows and circles. It's beautiful. It's a work of art. But sadly, Justice League is out, so I have to focus all my time and energy on what? Now there's Punisher? I'm not even done recording this one! See, this is what happens. I miss my chance to make a video about a big tentpole event like a new movie or new TV show that fits perfectly within the niche of this channel. Comic books and superheroes. YouTube's best practices tell me that I need to make these videos to stay alive. If there's a Deadpool trailer released, I gotta make a Deadpool video. Deadpool! Stop it! I'm not one to rush out videos. I'm not a guy who can research and write and record and edit and upload a video all in a day. At least, not the kinds of videos that I want to make. My videos take time, and I'm proud of the stuff that we make here. So more often than not, no matter how prepared in advance I am with a topic and a schedule, I miss my chance. I can't make a video about The Runaways after the show premiered. Nobody cares anymore. And even if they do, my video will get buried in search results of all the other people who made videos before me. I mean, I'll be honest, I'll be surprised if this video even performs well at all, given the crazy amount of Justice League reviews that'll be popping up. It's a constant fight for people's attention, for your attention. And even though these movies and TV shows can have giant buildups once they happen, they all the momentum's lost. We're moving on to the next thing! Any work that I would've put in to make a video for you guys about Justice League, about Thor Ragnarok, about Punisher, about the billion other comic book properties, I mean, this doesn't even touch on the stuff in the actual comics. Do you know how long I planned to make a Doomsday Clock video, but that just slipped by me like everything else? It feels like a constant attack on my anxiety. To make videos that will hopefully perform well on YouTube because they're relevant at the time, but when? Inevitably, I miss that moment. I spend the next couple days in a depressed funk. I mope around thinking of how I could have gotten the video out on time or, or trying to come up with another strategy of when I could possibly release it later. Is it is it too late or, or maybe I can try to squeeze something in by the weekend and no one will notice? I mean, I already spent all this time researching and writing. Is it really worth just throwing it all away? And all that does is eat up more time when I could be productive. And that just makes me more anxious and more depressed. Look, I know it's irrational. That's the whole point. Anxiety almost exclusively deals in irrationality. So I'm making this video to tell you guys, those of you who care and have even watched this far into the video, that I'm probably not going to be releasing any more videos centered around the release of a big movie or TV show because it's killing me inside. And that doesn't mean I won't talk about these movies at all. I, I still have that Thor Ragnarok video already recorded. Just needs to be edited. I'm sure it'll be released someday when no one cares about Thor Ragnarok anymore. So like, 
pretty much any time right now. But this is why, if I may sell out for a second, I genuinely love and appreciate everyone who supports NerdSync on Patreon because it allows me to make the videos that I want to make and not have to worry about what YouTube's algorithm thinks. Because, I mean, let's face it, sometimes I make videos that do pretty well. Whoa, Scooby-Doo, it's already, like, close to 200,000. How'd that happen? But a lot of the times I make videos that just straight up flop. Oh, man, this Flash video about political propaganda? That didn't do well? Who would have thought? So, yeah. Thank you to our wonderful patrons who gave me this opportunity to use the Justice League movie to sell out some more. 11 out of 5, you're the best. Hey, thanks for bearing with me through that entire rant, which is totally unprecedented for this channel. So if it's your first time watching us, know that we usually make things that are more thoughtful and educational about comic books and superheroes. We try to do so every single week to varying degrees of success. So if you want in on this goodness, hit that big sexy subscribe button so you never miss an upload. And if you really want, tap the bell icon to join the notification squad, my favorite nerds on the internet. And I know I just got done mentioning Patreon, but I always want to give a huge thanks to our patrons, especially Christopher Lang, Keaton Lampert, Elizabeth Monsell, and the rest of the wonderful nerds who help us keep the show going over at patreon.com slash nerdsync. I am still bleeding from my ears because of the IMAX experience, so I'm going to leave you with two other videos. You can click right up here to see our latest video or right down here to see what YouTube's mysterious algorithm thinks you'll enjoy. I have almost zero control over both of these, so if you don't like what you see on the other end, blame YouTube and maybe just give us another shot. My name is Scott, reminding you to read between the panels and grow smarter through comics. See ya.